How do we think they met? Something in the victimology should tell us. Well, we know the victim number two, Mark Coleman, had a sketchy background. What if victim number one was hiding something as well? Let's start digging. you could rape and kill an eight-year-old and get away with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's not what Mark said. Okay, okay, fine. I was there, but I didn't do anything. Shut up! I thought if I tried to stop them, they'd hurt me. Imagine how Kelly felt. What are you doing? Let's just kill him now. No, that's too easy. Now get in the car. You don't need to do this. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? I didn't do anything. Come on. I didn't do anything. I, I, I didn't do anything! No, come on! Help! Come on! No, no, no! I, I didn't do anything! Help! Please help! Paul Montgomery was alive when he was dragged. And it turns out Paul worked the late shift nearby. My officers found blood around his vehicle. He was probably blitz attacked when he left work. Did we find his cell? Yeah, it was on the ground, but he had no text messages or prior calls. That's a change in MO. Usually they lure their victims out. What happened to their organization? Garcia, what did you find out about Paul Montgomery? So guess who were BFFs in college? Hmm, Mark Coleman and Paul? Ten points to Blakendor. Turns out Paul was a character witness in Mark Coleman's rape trial. He waxed poetic about his boy, the jury didn't care. So we 